Welcome to my laboratory. Just kidding, this is just my kitchen. Today we're gonna develop some film. All right, so what I have going on over here is I've just got this basic bucket that I got at a hardware store and I've got some warm water in it and I'm using this Redmond sous vide unit that I got off the internet um, and I brought the temperature up to 102 Fahrenheit. So the first thing we need to do is I've unloaded my film into this Patterson three, three reel tank but I've got uh, two rolls of 120 in here. I unloaded them in my little dark tent onto the reels and I'm gonna do a pre-warm, which is about a minute. So I've got some water that's been in this pitcher here and I'm just gonna pour that in and do a little pre-warm up deal. And this just warms up the film, it warms up the reels, it warms up the tank, kind of brings everything up to a consistent 102 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what I want for C41. We're developing color film today. I think they were both maybe Portra rolls. Maybe one was Ektar, one was an Ektar 100, one was a Portra, I think. Um, we'll find out. I forget what they were now. All right, so we're gonna let this roll for a minute. Sometimes I give it just like a little spin with the little, this little gizmo here is just like a little device that helps me spin the reels inside. So this, I'm using the Cinestill C41 kit today, and that it consists of a developer that goes for about three minutes and 15 seconds with some agitation. There's then the bleach fix, which goes for about eight minutes. And then after that, I give it a rinse for a few minutes and then we stabilize it and we hang it up. So all in all, about 16 minutes and you got film, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna pour this out here. I like to keep a couple of just random rags handy to actually grip the tank. Um, I, I am waiting on an apron that I ordered online and some new gloves. The gloves that I do have in-house are just too small for me. I recommend you wear gloves and eye protection of some kind and an apron is nice, but I'm using this old shirt, which uh, is gonna do the trick. So after it's warmed up for, you know, about a minute or so, I'm gonna pour this out and then we'll get rocking here. Just pouring this out. Now we get into the developer. Pour this in. I'm using an app on my phone called Develop with an exclamation point at the end, which is really nice for kind of giving me some intervals that I can count on. So then I hit the start timer and I'm going to agitate for the first 10 seconds. get the lid on. The lid's a little tricky to make sure that it goes on. I actually look at the edge of the lid and I spin the tank to see if it's even all the way and it's not right there. Not even. I can fix that. Good. Get my funnel in place for when we dump it back. All right. And then what I like to do, just in case, is to throw a rag over the top. And then I'm agitating four times while spinning the tank. Kind of a slow agitation. And then I like to give it a little bit of a tap down. Um, the idea that maybe that kills some of the bubbles that might be congregating in there. You can hear in the background the sous vide is making the gurgly sounds. agitation. So this is about three minutes and 15 seconds of this where we let it sit in the developer as well as agitate. So we do four inversions, then it sits and waits. All right, we're coming down to the last few seconds of this uh, developer cycle and I'm going to dump it back in because I can reuse these chemicals, which is cool. It's gonna beep at me. I like to use the rags again. Wearing gloves is the preferred thing to do here. 
I just don't have any right now. Okay, set that aside for right now. So this is the bleach fix I'm pouring in. It's gonna have the same agitation schedule, only we're gonna go eight minutes on it. This fixes the film now that it's been developed. I started off with that 10 seconds of agitation. And I'm gonna get the lid on. Spin my lid so I know that it's on. Get my rag over the top. I'm gonna give my funnel a rinse. Just to not have too much cross contamination happening. Don't, I really don't want any bleach fix in the developer. So I'm cognizant of that kind of splashing. Okay, and then we agitate. You can feel the, the heat and the bubbles are pushing up against the lid of the tank, which always makes me a little nervous. So I like to keep a rag over it in case it wants to try to spurt out and cause problems because that'll catch it. In a perfect world, I would probably be doing this over a big stainless steel sink, but I'm doing this in my kitchen. All right, so we're on the last agitation of the bleach fix. And somebody's trying to call me. I'm gonna open this up because of the, the heat and it's pressing against this lid and the bubbles that are in there. Um, I, the rag is really handy because when I go to open it, it usually likes to try to spit some of this chemical out and the rag is helpful for kind of containing that, which is nice. All right, dump this back into the container. Great, and now technically it's been fixed. It can be exposed to light. So I'm gonna rinse it out for three minutes in the sink. Point, I also like to kind of rinse my tools and that's timed as well three minutes so we'll let that rock these uh, bottles are kind of nice I got these from Cinestill uh, where it allows you to press them down so that the liquids right at the top which minimizes the amount of oxygen that's in the bottle thus supposedly making the chemistry last longer Next up, after some rinsing, I'm gonna run a stabilizer, which is just this kind of soapy solution, which helps it when I go to hang it up and dry for it to dry faster, cleaner, with less dust. All right, next up is the stabilizer. Pour that in. There go, it's just one minute, just first 15 seconds, a little agitation, just kind of spreading it out over the, over the film. All right, success. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump the stabilizer back into this bottle. Get my other rag, the funky one. This is just a soapy stuff, but I don't know, I try to keep my hands away from this stuff as much as possible. Cool. Let's check it out. 
We've got some film. All right, hang this up to dry. I've got a wire that here in front of my window. It's not the best place to be drying my film. A lot of people use like cabinets, probably better for this, but uh, you know, use what you got. So far I haven't had too much dust when it comes to my 120 negatives. Nothing that I can't handle before I scan it anyhow. Sweet. And there you have it. Inside of 16 minutes, you go from having your film with just latent images on it to negatives. And in probably another hour or so, they'll be ready to scan. So if you liked this video, hit that like sign. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. You can subscribe up there. You can subscribe down there. Hit that little bell. It'll notify you when new content arrives. Thanks for watching.